Hi, my name is Sebastian. I live in my 1985 Westie, and today we're in Northwest Wyoming. A single decision to step out of the comfort zone can spark a journey that changes everything. I've accomplished many summits, but there's one in particular that has been really high on my list, and today I have the opportunity to mark that off of said list. has been brought to my attention that we need to uh, film more of our adventures here. So I'm gonna vlog it, guys. Might as well. Well, we got Nick, we got Bryce, James over there. So we're gonna go climb Grand Teton. You know how it is. We had an extra pair. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that's Naz Pierce. Yeah. So there's nothing I can do. I've not tried every color. They're so good. Yeah, snack update. Stopped for lunch. Snack of choice. Got the Cliff Builders protein. That's what we need right now. Those shirts are so comfortable. Mm -hmm. I know, yeah. I just want to change my whole wardrobe to those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like soft. Let the suffer fest begin. <laughs> in Cascade Canyon now and we still have a long way to go to where we're camping out tonight the lower saddle somewhere up there I'm just along for the ride guys I don't really know what's going on I don't know the route we're climbing um, I've done very minimal research I just woke up this morning and saw these guys parked on the side of the road dirt road right by where I was camping out and they're like, you wanna go climb Grand Teton? Of course I wanna go climb Grand Teton. Just filled up with water here at, on this stream. Uh, not too sure how many chances we're gonna get for water where we're camping out. I know there's a little spigot up top at the, uh, the saddle, but I'm not trying to risk it. So I'm taking two liters up for tonight and then probably gonna fill up again another two liters for the push to the summit in the morning. Ooh, we made it to camp or whatever you wanna call this. A couple rocks in the middle of this moraine. I'm gonna set up right here and tomorrow. Looks like everyone's making dinner right now. We got camp set up, got my tent. A couple people are sleeping in that tent there. Homeboy is sleeping under a rock. Nick has his set up down there. Give you a little crib tour here. That's all we got on rocks. Cooking up some tuna. I'm cooking up some chicken teriyaki. And a couple other goodies in the bear box. So many goodies.
shake. Found it. And we're off. Headed up to the lower saddle. Slowly but surely, we'll get in the conga line. Every step, the view gets better. Come on. Come on. Is that, how is that possible? <laughs> this is so cool. It's Teton Glacier, this massive glacier that used to be bigger, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Cruising this morning. Looks like we're about to make it to the fixed rope up here. Right here? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh yeah. I'm gonna put mine right here in this rock. <laughs> about to get to the saddle between Grand Teton, Middle Teton. About to look down on the other side here for the first time from this saddle. I think Nick just found the water spigot that's on the saddle here. We're all gonna fill up. <laughs> Can you ski down a glacier? Yeah. Update, I think this is the coolest snack spot that we have had so far. <laughs> I am eating the Cliff Bar Cool Mint Chocolate. These are so good. Once they're on now, it's getting pretty rowdy. Getting pretty fun. All right, this is the spot. We're currently down climbing down this scree field from up there. So we went up, we went, up, went up one way and then we came down, we're coming down this way so we can start what's called the Exum route, uh, climber's route up the Grand Teton since there's a huge line going up Owen Spaulding. We've decided to go up this, uh, this, Dicey route. Looks like we're about to rope up right up here. We down climb through there and just climb back up here. Extremely tired, but we're almost to the top. Oh, we're fully on the mountain right now. We're going out there. So I'll clip this into the caribbean right there and then I will blow you off this trip. Hi. <laughs> We're making our way up. We are just below the V pitch and then, or no, this is a smear and then the V pitch and then we're at the top. A little bit of scrambling left to go. Uh, we're like 13.2. We have to get to 13.7. The views are looking insane. The day, we're at 13.2 right now. We have maybe 500 feet to go. We have two more pitches and then scramble and then Tippity top of the Grand Teton. How you feel? Kind of beat. Dude, I think we're all beat. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a day. It's getting later. And I really want a cheeseburger. This is sick. What? Whoa. Dude. Top of Grand, headed down the hill right now before the sun goes down. It's gonna be a long day. We're getting the uh, 70 meter rope set up on the anchor for our first rappel. The second repel is being set up right here. We are so tired. 
We want food, we want water. We want to be off of the mountain now. Just did the second repel and that was crazy. Nick is doing it right now. You could hardly see him, he's right there. And then you repel through this section here. Saves a lot of time and uh, we're just waiting for everyone to come down. The sun is setting and we're still needing to go down one of these chimneys. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. That's Nick just hanging there on a rope. And I'm just hanging out here waiting for everyone else to come down. It is pretty crazy because you got uh, like a, a shoot there, a shoot there. And it's just a major drop off the views. Oh, it sounds like Nick just got to the bottom. He survived, bro. We're, we're living, living it. Still above Middle Teton and it's getting late. I plan on going to the cars tonight, so we gotta get back down to a uh, camp spot and um, pack up, hike back in the night. I need dinner, dinner. I just want food. I want food. How was it? That's the nuttiest thing I've ever done in my life. That Nutty. My heart. I feel like I just woke up and had a bunch of caffeine right now. Oh my God, it was terrifying. It's uh, about 60 feet from up there down here. And we threw the rope down and we had to crawl out here to see if the rope was touching the ground, but it's only like a 60 foot repel and the yeah, rope- it's 180 uh, feet to 60 meter rope. 60 meter, meter. meter. See, I don't know what a meter is. Yeah. 180 foot 180. repel. I mean, there's a little bit, so maybe 150. But yeah. <laughs> oh, look, look, he's coming down. 180 feet. I've never repelled. I repelled once in my life, and that was about an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we did this 180 foot repel. Dude, luckily we have a good, good group of people with us. Um, yeah. I, there's no way. Like I could do this solo, but I wouldn't be repelling anything. <laughs> That's like. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> terrifying. A lot of rocks. I don't know, should I be sitting down or standing? You both. You both, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you look so cool. Let's go. <laughs> dude, it's so gnarly. How do we are cruising down this mountain right now. The stoke is high, and we're almost as, or we're like halfway to the saddle. We all made it back down. That was one of the coolest mountains I've ever climbed in my life. I cannot wait to do it again. We, uh, we had a successful climb. That's all I can say. I just took a shower, and I'll see you guys next week.